Adair County roads are still feeling the damage from last year's flooding and this spring's heavy rainfall. KTVO's Nick Todorovic gives you a look at what projects you can expect to see in the near future. It's looking like it'll be a busy rest of the year for Adair County road crews. Presiding Commissioner Mark Shahan told me that a lot of work has been completed on debris removal and tube repairs following last summer's flooding, but the job's not finished. County roads were uh, entered into uh, our FEMA disaster, so we got a lot of work to do there, replacing rock mostly from the, from the flood we had uh, last summer. Shahan also expects to see progress on two Adair County River crossings. The culvert behind me on Lawson Hill Lane in Brashear gave out after it was flooded in April. The presiding commissioner is hoping to obtain a community development block grant for this project. He also expects the Missouri Trail Bridge to be open for bids next week. Even though there's a lot on the county's plate, Shahan believes they have the manpower to complete these projects. We got uh, a pretty good resource of people. You know, we got some full time people, we got some retired people uh, that uh, we wanted to be able to capture that skill set. County officials hope all of this work will allow them to stay on track for future projects. We're always thinking uh, ahead, trying to figure out what's the best way to spend the money to get the most work done. When these projects start, it's important to drive safely through the work zones to ensure the safety of everyone on the roadway. Nick Todorovic, KTVO News.